Greetings Summoners, Invader Sive here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today I got a very special video for you guys. I will be playing the newest champion over the PvE, which is the public beta environment, Lucian or Lucian, I don't know how it's pronounced just yet. And uh, as always, my runes and masteries will be in the description of this video. Here we go, quickly team comp is Nami and myself, Lucian Bot, we got Renekton top, Oriana mid, and Amumu jungle. And our enemies are Lucian, Lucian and, uh, oh, this is pretty weird here, I wanna say Rise Bot, Hecarim top, Diana mid, and Jarban jungle. I think they're doing some kind of kill lane or they just don't know what they're doing. So we'll see how it goes. Now, uh, like I said, newest champion on the PvE, he, wa he was released yesterday, I believe, and I already got an emotes video of him around, I'll put an annotation around here somewhere, you can click that if you want to see them, he's actually pretty badass, <laughs> overall, I really like his theme and all that stuff. Now, on to the abilities, well, he's basically an AD carry, and I will be playing him at the bot lane here, he specializes in having a lot of mobility and Hiding potential as well, and pretty decent um, a poke kit. So we'll start off with his passive. Uh, as you can see, he has two big guns, one in each hand, and his passive allows you to utilize both of them. So every time you cast an ability, your next attack will within six seconds will give you an additional shot of the opposite gun. Now the shot is not a full-on auto attack; it's around half of it. Or uh, of the um, a little bit less than the auto attack, but it, it does have decent scaling and it does proc on hit effects. So overall, it's a really powerful, uh, uh, really powerful ability because it does have great scaling with it. Um, it does proc life steal and all that good stuff. Uh, pretty straightforward, good good passive. Uh, I believe it matches his theme and everything just fine. Now your first ability is your Q. Now your Q. Uh, it's a really interesting type of targeted ability. Basically, it is, you, you target whatever you want, or whatever enemy you want, and it will pro uh, it will give you an additional uh, skill shot damage uh, from it. Oh, here we go, going for that kill. I'm going for that kill here. I don't care. There we go, going for a barrier. Uh, that's a double kill. Oh, Nami took it. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's fine. I was not expecting Jarvan to drop in, but he did. And I'm not even level 2 just yet. So let me just. Uh, I'm going to be grabbing my, my boots here. And some more damage. So, yeah, as you, you saw me use it a couple of times, you basically target a, an enemy, uh, an enemy, and it will shoot at it, and it will project. The skill shot. Now this is pretty good for attacking enemies there in the back of the of the lane. So har harassing is pretty good with this. It does scale off AD, uh, bonus AD that is 60%. And it is not that powerful for clearing waves because it does half damage to minions. But it is quite spammable. So you uh, later on in the game, so you will be able to. Oh, he's level three. Well, I'm still level one. So let me. There we go. Level two. And. Um, so yeah, that's basically basically the the ability in a nutshell. Look at the double attack is just so good. Okay, so that's that's basically it. Uh, I will be maxing this first because like, like as you can see there is really powerful for just being aggressive in the lane and it does bring a good a good amount of damage. Now your next ability is your, your W which is called Ardent Blaze. This is basically a, a skill shot attack as well. It does AoE damage wherever it hits and it marks your targets for a little bit. The marked targets uh, last for 6 seconds and if you attack one of those marked targets you will, you will gain a movement speed buff, a quite considerable uh, movement speed buff. 40 uh, movement speed at level uh, level one of the ability, and every time you you hit um, you hit one of those uh, enemies that were hit with the AOE, you will gain that buff again and again. So this is great for kiting purposes. And uh, if, example, if you're getting uh, ganked by two enemies, it will basically give you the ability to just kill this guy. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He's, uh, I thought we, I could snipe him. Nice job there. We're gonna die though. 
so you can target someone with it, it uh, you, and you can keep hit, hit it. Well, you hit him once, you get that movement speed, and if you hit additional targets, you can get, keep getting that. So it's pretty good. Does kill off AD and also AP, which is which is good. Makes him be viable as another type of, of build because his ultimate does also have AP scaling. So that might be a strategy later on. But he's basically an AP, an AD carry. So pretty straightforward as well, this ability, but it, it synergizes quite well with your next ability, which is your, your E. Now your E is basically a dash. You saw me use it a couple of times. It feels kind of like Grape's dash. It's, it's maybe a little bit faster. And it doesn't do any damage or give you any additional effect, except that you are able to remove all slowing effects on you. Now this is great, like I said, for being able to kite enemies that otherwise will be able to kill you easily. For example, early on, uh, junglers that have red buff, you're able to break that slow and kite them a little bit. And just basically get away with, with doing a lot of those types of, of plays. Uh, I will be maxing this ability last. Uh, I believe this is a 1.1 wonder. And it, it does have a really good uh, synergy with his ultimate, in which you're able to spam it quite a bit. Every time you, you get a kill with your ultimate, the ability gets refreshed. So, that, like, like I said, another another thing that uh, part of your ability is that synergizes quite well with the kiting, uh, kiting potential that you have. So, now let's talk about the ultimate itself. Now, the ultimate itself... Let's go for this guy. Oh, nice bubble there, but no, it didn't hit. Uh, the ultimate itself is... <clears throat> basically, you activate it, and it's a... Uh, Type of a channel, type of ult uh, ultimate, you will be using it to shoot in a straight line for a for the duration. But you won't be able to cast any other of your abilities except your, your E, which is your uh, Relentless Assault, the one for positioning. And it also locks you into play. So for example, let's say I was aiming towards uh, the enemy Lucian there, and the ultimate will be shooting in that, in that, uh, in that way. Nice try again with the bubble. Whoa, that rice is really squishy. <laughs> oh, so close. That's, oh, there we go. <laughs> Sniped, and then Nami took the kill. That's fine. I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get away from this. Here comes the Mumu, though. Maybe we can bait this. Here we go. Oh, I thought he was... Again, you take the kill, Nami. <coughs> it's all good. I uh, almost got level 6 so I can show you the ultimate next fight. Okay, so now let's let's talk about this. There was too, too much action going on. I couldn't talk about it right. So, yeah, channel ultimate. Uh, it will be shooting to the position you are facing. And the great thing about it is you're able to attack and retreat at the same time. So you're able to, to, for example, if I were I activate my ultimate and I will be running, I could be shooting backwards and keep attacking enemies. Um, it's really powerful, really long range. Pre I, I think I believe a little bit more than what your auto attack range is. Has AD and AP scalings, so that's that's re really powerful, of course. And there's something really important about the overall kit uh, is that it also scales off attack speed. So getting items such as the Blade of the Ruin King, which I'm getting right now, is pretty good because it's it allows you to scale pre pretty much in every in every way possible. <laughs> no, you didn't even attack her once. So AD and, and attack speed scale off your ultimate, and you, the barrage of bullets that you will be shooting uh, well actually shoots more bullets. <laughs> basically, that that's it. I thought you did as well. Guess not. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything crazy here. I'm just gonna. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's try and kill him. No! <laughs> Rice is too much damage. Too much damage. How much did he do? do? Yeah, that's uh, that's quite a bit. Yeah, no more of that. Let's just wait for our support to make those plays. Okay, you saw me use the ultimate there. It was kind of sloppy, but uh, it will shoot out, shoot off, and hit the first enemy. And the minion actually blocked my, my path there, so that's why I didn't do the full damage to the enemy Lucian. Don't look so real. Um, like I said, if you get a kill using this ability, you can get an additional charge of your. Well, you can get, reset the cooldown of Relentless Assault, 
and uh, you can also activate it again to cancel so you can use your other abilities or auto attack if you need it so overall uh, I really like the the strategy behind the the champion you can the ultimate kind of feels like MF's ultimate because you will be able to uh, uh, like I said uh, it's not AOE or, or, or in the sense or that can hit multiple targets but it, it is pow really powerful and really low cooldown I almost got it back as well Okay, I'm using it to keep getting charges. There it is. Go ahead. Me in. And that's basically it, guys. I, I mean, the kit is really straightforward, uh, but I really like the way it, it synergizes with itself. Uh, powerful cutting champion. Decent poke. Here we go. Nicely done there. Got my ultimate. There it is. As you can see there that you, I you, uh, I sidestep there, and you, you saw how you can use it to uh, keep kiting, keep attacking. Nice combo. A really good combo there uh, on the dummy's part. I think she landed the bubble on both of them, and then the ultimate, which is pretty awesome. And the, you need to uh, space out your ability so you can uh, hit one. Uh, one auto attack after each ability and that way you can uh, definitely uh, maximize your passive I'm, om I'm really close to getting the uh, blade of the rune king that's gonna up my damage considerably and like I said I really like the the, the ultimate scaling off both uh, attack speed and damage because for example with MF even though she's really powerful uh, she's really powerful with her ultimate. It only scales off AD, while getting attack speed on her is sometimes not not the best idea because you want to have a much much stronger ultimate. But in your case, you can just go like standard AD carry, and your ultimate will benefit from everything. There we go. Go to the Rune King. Heading back into the lane because I still have that trade up. Let's see what he's building. Yeah, he's also going for a Blade of the Rune King. It's it's uh, the essential items to have in his. I actually agree with this quite quite a bit. Maybe uh, if you go like this, uh, the the standard Infinity Edge uh, seal or something like that, uh, it will also be effective. But I really like uh, getting the Blade of Ruin King. It gives you so much. There we go. Let's see if we can catch up. Nah, he's gone. Let's see if we can clear away this quickly now. Mm, eh, decently. Let's keep it up. Free action pack so far. It's, these guys are not that bad. We actually are in a pre-made, so I guess that that explains it. Oh, a bubble there will be awesome. Oh, oh, there you go. Ultimate. There it is. Really powerful. Yeah, I like Nami. And Nami actually synergizes with you quite well because the bubbles activate on your uh, on your second auto attack. Oh yeah, here we go. Get him. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Nicely done. Once you uh, once you decide to go in there and burn all your mana, you can actually do quite a bit of damage. But uh, as you can see right now, I'm I'm pretty much depleted. Uh, I wanted to kill him. He's gone. I got no more mana. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. We're fine. Okay, maybe I'll go for... I'm gonna go for a BF sword, so I'll wait a little bit on my gold. Let's see what he's building. He still has not finished the Blade of the Ring King, so... I'm really far ahead of him right now. I don't have much farm because I've just been concentrating on killing right now, but but yeah. Now I can also see him being effective with the uh, building a tier of the goddess similar to an Ezreal type of build, because the once you get the what's it called Muramana, I forget sometimes. Yeah, Muramana. 
Uh, yeah, that's what the man immune turns into. Once you get the Muro Mana, you should be able to activate your uh, the on hit effect from this. Uh, that I will need to test that out to be completely sure. But I know the life life steal does work on the second shot, so it would be awesome if it did, and that will pretty much allow you to do two two procs of that per attack. Let's go kill Diana. Maybe she'll just double back. Yeah, she's probably just gonna go around. Let me check the red buff though. Red buff activated. Nobody can get away from me. Let me let me get this, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it should work because uh, when, once I get the Nami's additional damage, her a bit, her E on me, I, I hit two, tw I hit twice with my dual pistols. All good. Yeah, we're a pre-made here. I decided to do pre-made so we can get uh, much better teams against and also our team to be better. Although that backfired, I, I tried this uh, before we played this game. <laughs> And and one pe one person di disconnected in in my team, and another one just said in mid game, "Oh, I'm just gonna go back." I mean, I got an AFK here, and he went AFK, so it wasn't that well. Didn't go that well. And I just keep pushing this. I'll force team fights in a little bit. I just want to get a level 11, and then we can go oh, mid lane. I want to go kill them. I don't really have much experience with him in team fights. I wanna wanna get one of those in before the game ends. Here we go. Let's kite him. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of messed up there, but it's all good. I'm, I'm pretty far ahead right now. That <laughs> I can make those little little mistakes and still get away with it. I was trying to sidestep. I got him. Movement speed, OP. Oh, epic bubble. No, oh, I missed. I wanted to get the movement speed. It's okay. Another one? Okay. We got it. Yeah, red buff. So good. Oh, let me have it. Yeah, there we go. Red buff was gonna get it anyways, but. Kill secure with the flash. Oh, she had killing spree, so completely worth it. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to bait with the barrier. Uh, me too, me too, actually. But I got my. Let's see if we can bait him. There we go. Yeah, Blade of the Ring King is just that that strong. Let's go back, get some. Um, like I said, I want to get the BF sword. Maybe I can get a bloodthirster. I gotta get a bloodthirster. Why not? Just gonna go straight bloodthirster. Going full AD here, and I'll get a an, an maybe last whisper next. Excellent. Let's go for dragon. In. Actually, let's go mid and force team fights. Hopefully that will work out. He seems OP, guys, but I, I really got fed early on. I can see him being, uh, well, he's of course being an elite character. He's extremely squishy. If he gets caught, he's dead, basically. Hard stuns are his his vein, basically. I'm away. There we go. Go in there. Oh man, I want to kill her. I want to kill her, but I don't want any minions to be around. There we go. Hit two of them. Like I said, that that Q uh, is really good for this. Look at that. It's not the like, not like the best poke ever, but it works out quite nicely. Almost got him there. Oh <laughs> no, I'm gonna die. No, that was that was fun though. <laughs> A lot of damage. Let's try it in this game already. I think guys have seen enough. Sorry about that. His, his kid is interesting because he can go like 
full on single damage or try and mix and, and not mix, uh, distribute his AoE. I mean, his ultimate between multiple targets if he wants to, like, uh, sidestepping can hit multiple targets. So, overall, I really like his, uh, his playstyle. Fun times. I got a seal now. They recommend getting the static shift, so maybe it does work, like I said, that the static shift will give you additional charges every time you, you cast your auto attack. I mean, your passive. Oh no! I almost got my ultimate once again, and I just basically used it, so really low cooldown on this. Okay, she's gonna try and dive me here, but... Oh man, I just kinda made a mistake there. Hey, I was pressing my Blade of the Rune King! What? Oh, Blade of the Rune King. Didn't go. <laughs> God, Renekton! You can go in there. My bad. I tried to defend by myself. Did I give him a... No. They did not get a killing spree off of that one. I, they took it from the other one. Get him, get him. There you go. <laughs> nice try. Don't let them get the Drake, man. Uh, the It's pretty hard to, to land the, the ultimate in the middle of a fight. They can also sidestep you, so keep that in mind. You saw me there fail with it a couple of times. Nice bubble there. Pro Oriana. <laughs> you don't have the heart for this. Let me get a red buff. Yes, 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 yes. Do this. Thank you. No. Oh. The cool thing is you don't need to land your abilities for the for the passive to activate. You can actually activate your passive with your E. So you you can dash and get two additional shots. Let's go for the Jarvan here. For this guy then. So much damage. I like it. Just wait for the wave. The wave's pretty far away. You can tank it if you want it. No problem. Okay, Diana. Let's go for Diana right here. Uh oh, oh, look at that range. Pretty good. Okay, okay just stack it. There we go. Kill the turret. And it's all about positioning. Even though I dashed into them, I knew I was safe. What's up, dude? <laughs> I don't care. There we go. Epic snipe. That's what I like about him. <laughs> He's, uh, this ability does have pretty decent base damage. Look at that, 220 at, ra at rank 5. And really decent scaling as well. Pretty much the, the full uh, additional AD goes in there. So you can al I can also see this being a good uh, ability to max. But I'm going to the Rune King though. There we go, I'm fine. Kiting. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I got, like, stuck there. No. Let's get static sheep, see how it goes. No fair. That would have been perfect, uh, for kiting purposes there to show you the power. But I had no mana, so <laughs> that's what I get. It's all good, we got the inhibitor. That's all that matters. See who's the biggest threat here. Diana, without, without a doubt, is the biggest threat. Look at that, she, now she's building her... Seekers on guard into an hourglass, so she's itemizing to stop me. No, there's no Drake for you, man. I'll sleep when dead. And let's let's sell this, and we can probably buy. Yeah, it's just another another long sword there. I'm gonna get the Bam Scepter, Bam Scepter, Bam Scepter Whisper as my last item. No, you're lagging. You just push down the mid. Yeah. And we got this. 
Let's let's see you, uh, if if getting two charges on static chip works like I said. Let's shoot this. Nope, I didn't get to see it. <laughs> right, let's just go in there. Go 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 go. There we go. Don't don't hit the Baron, man. <laughs> Not a good idea. There we go. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, come on. Oh, nice try there. You get points for trying. Some call it magic. Let's go for this. He's gonna go in there. The Hecarim there. My really. Oh, yeah, he did, he did. Yeah, there we go. Look at that range. So good. We got her. Rice is next. And let's just end the game. Okay, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, preview of Lucian, the newest Lucian, the newest champion on the PVE. Remember, this is basically my first real game with him. So I know if I made a mistake, all that it's because of that and. At least it wasn't a horrible game. You got to see him in action and all that good stuff. So yeah, leave me in the comments what you think about him. And if you want to see him play, that's another role. Where maybe I can try top lane with him. Uh, similar to Estro or something like that. And we'll see how that happens. Oh, tell me what type of build you will do with him. Maybe a tier, like I said. Trying like a blue Estro type of build with him. And Invader Sives. Signing out.